Swifty, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play all too well Taylor's version on the guitar. Here's a quick overview of everything I'll be covering in this tutorial today and with that being said let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys so you only need to know four different chord shapes to play through this song and we're going to start with our C major which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my free beginner course right here on YouTube, so make sure to check that out. The next chord is our G major. After that we have our A minor. And then the last chord is our F major. And if bar chords is something you're struggling with, I do have a free course on that as well, so I will link that here for you guys. Um, but those are the only chords you need to know to play through this song. So go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to really memorize these chord shapes as well as practice transitioning back and forth between them because it will make learning the rest of the song so much easier for you. And if transitioning between your chords fast enough is something you're currently struggling with, I would suggest checking out my Practice With Me series where I go through this skill with you in real time. So I will make sure to link that playlist right here for you guys. Um, but once you have those chords down, we can go ahead and talk about the strumming pattern that you can use for this song. Now, as I always say, if you are a beginner at guitar or you struggle with singing while playing the guitar, the first thing I would suggest is to bring up the song and go ahead and play through it with a single down strum on every chord change as you take the time to sing through the song. And use this time to just take a mental note of where you're going to be changing those chords, like what word you're singing and things like that. And um, here's an example of what that would look like. I walked through the door with you The air was cold But something about it felt like home somehow All right, so you basically want to do that for the entire song and just make sure that you know where those chords are going to be changing. And this is actually something you can do right now if you check out my Patreon page. I do have this entire guide available to download and print out, so I will make sure to leave that link in the description box for you. Um, but once you get used to the single down strum and you can sing with it, then let's go ahead and talk about a more full strumming pattern that you can use for this song. Alright guys, so for this strumming pattern, it is technically a 16th note strumming pattern, but I do think it's easier to think about counting it in an 8th note pattern. So basically it'll sound like this. We have one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a down, 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 down. All right. And basically what you want to do is take this pattern and play it through one time for each chord throughout the entire song. Now, before we move on, I'm going to go ahead and change some of these arrows to a green color. And basically what I want you to do with those is we are going to accent them. So if you don't know what accenting is, it's basically just a way to kind of make your strumming and your guitar sound a little more rhythmic by using a little bit more of a heavy hand, like a little more force when you're doing just the accented strums and that'll kind of give it more rhythm. We're gonna go down, 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 up. All right, so I'm just giving those down strums that are green a little extra oomph when I'm strumming them. So one and two and three and four and a down, 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 down. All right, if you add these accents into the chord changes, you'll hear how it kind of makes the song sound a little bit more, it gives it a little bit more of a driving force. So we have C. I would say if you can to add them in throughout the entire song and it really just dresses up the guitar part a little bit but something else you can do with the guitar part is to add a palm mute so um, when I say palm mute basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the side of my hand with my pick in it and I'm just ever so gently resting it on my strings close to where that bridge is and if you just gently lay it there when you strum it'll kind of dampen the sound of the strings giving it a little bit more of a percussive, like punchy feel. And this is a great way to, you know, differentiate between like the verses and the choruses and things like that. So what I would suggest doing is to palm mute your verses. So we have C, 
the accents are still in there too, okay? Down, 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 up. And you can use this for all the verses, like this. I walked through the door with you. The air was cold. Something about it felt like home somehow. Alright? Um, palm muting is totally optional if you can't do it or you're struggling to do it. Like you can still do the whole song without the palm mute, but I do think it's a good way to differentiate between parts of the song. On the choruses, I would go back to letting it ring. Cause there we are again on that little town street. I almost ran the red cause you were looking over at me. All right. Again, totally optional however you want to play this I would say it'll sound good either way but this is the strumming pattern that I would suggest using and the best thing is you can use it for the entire song so again go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to really get this strumming rhythm under your belt if you do want to add those palm mutes and those accents in I do think it's a good idea however if that's tough for you right now then you can totally do the whole thing without it I still think it sounds really good with just the basic strum as well um, but once you get this strumming pattern under your belt we can go through one last thing I I wanted to teach you which is that little solo line that you hear at the beginning it's super easy to play so let's go ahead and jump into that all right guys so this little solo line tab is actually pretty easy to play however if you don't know how to read tabs I would suggest checking out this video first um, but let's go ahead and break it down so what you want to do is we're gonna start on our G string and we're just gonna pick that open okay then you're gonna go to your high E string or your thinnest bottom string and you're gonna play that open then use your ring finger to put it on the third fret of the B string. Then we go back to the high E. And then instead of your ring finger, we're gonna put our index finger down on that B string. All right, so you should be able to hear that line coming together. And then to finish it out, we're gonna hop over to this fourth D string. We're gonna use our middle finger to press the second fret down. And then we're gonna use our ring finger to press the third fret right next door. Okay, and then you end the whole thing with another open G string. Okay, so the whole thing sounds like this. Basically what you would want to do is when you get to the end, you would go back to the beginning and repeat the whole thing. I think this solo line goes through almost the entire song. So if you're playing with a friend, one of you guys could play this solo line while the other one does the chords and strumming. But anyways, I do think it sounds really good when you layer the solo on top of the strumming. So if you do want to do that, I think this is a really great simple tab to kind of add in to spice up your cover. All right guys, so again, go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to get this solo tab under your belt. Um, as far as tabs go, it's pretty simple. So once you get used to picking those strings and stuff like that, it should be pretty easy. And it's a really fun way to dress up this song, especially if you're playing with a friend. Um, but once you have that down, we can go ahead and put everything we learned together to play through the song. continue jamming to the rest of the song with me then make sure to check out my other channel forever faithful where i have the full play along available there for free so i will make sure to leave that link in the description box for you guys if you enjoyed learning this song then you should definitely check out this video not only does it have a super similar vibe but it's just as fun and easy to play so i'll see you over there bye